lot of talk and chatter on the internet about the way she looks and whether she's had surgery, whether it's from weight loss or non-surgical interventions. I think she Before we start, I want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. Recently, Kelly Osborne has been serving some looks. People think it's all because of a new body transformation. This might be true, but we are here to talk about Kelly and this new buzz about her. Here is Kelly Osborne's transformation has really been something to see. Woman and her husband had a glass of champagne and it looked really nice and I was like, oh, I can do that too. Number four, who is Kelly Osborne? Kelly Osborne was born to metal singer Ozzy Osborne and his wife Sharon in the UK. She spent most of her childhood accompanying her dad on his tours and concerts. She lived in about 20 different homes then. With the heavy travel and the tough schedule, Kelly saw her parents struggle. She also had to see her dad battle with his alcoholism. She has two siblings, Amy who is older than her and Jack who is younger than her, making Kelly the middle child. Kelly got her spotlight through the famous American reality TV show centered around her family, the Osbournes. The show ran for two years and that's when she started getting recognized in public. It has been years since that show aired and now she has her own unique identity. She has done her things and today all eyes are on her as she flaunts her body transformation. Kelly Osborne is ringing in a new year of life with a whole new look. Earlier this week, the TV personality celebrated her th Number three, battle with addiction. Constantly being in the spotlight, being under critical eyes and living up to her father's name, Kelly found life to be hard. She didn't exactly turn toward drugs or alcohol right away, but found them little by little. When at age 13, she had tonsils removed, she was prescribed liquid Vicodin. This false perception developed within her that she's more fun when she takes it and thus began to succumb to the constructive idea. It became a confidence thing, she said. By the time the family was offered the show, Osborne described herself as a full-on addict. She was always drunk or high and subsequently fell into this black hole of self-destruction. She would take on projects but never show up. She was always ready to pick a fight and in a nutshell, she was never herself anymore. It got so bad that she had to turn towards professional help to sort this out. After all, she was still too young to be destroying her life. So healthy every day. I'm like taking all my vitamins, juicing, and just trying to stay positive. Number two, the career path. When she started to pick herself up, doors of opportunities opened up for her. She was cast on a radio show with Fashion Police where she would comment on celebrities' fashion choices and their mishaps. She worked alongside Joan Rivers as well and loved it. However, later she had to quit the show when an offensive statement made by her co-worker made headlines. It was about Zendaya. But it didn't stop her as she went on to launch her brand. She gave each piece of her clothing a sentimental value by attaching the stories of her customers to them and making them more personal so that people could feel her. It wasn't an attempt to take over the fashion world, rather a new approach and self-discovery. She has also put her name out there in the music industry, following in her father's footsteps. She released her debut album, Shut Up, which did decently in America but did better in Europe. She later released her second album titled Sleeping in the Nothing. In 2009, she took part in Dancing with the Stars, finishing third with her partner. Number one, weight loss journey. I got sick and tired of everyone telling me who I was. I wanted to take that power back and say, you know what, this is who I am. Although she had never had problems with her size, rather embraced it, she lost 85 pounds last year and bragged about it. To be fair, she did work hard and also had gastric sleeve surgery done to help her. She was once under controversy as her second album cover picture was way slimmer than usual, but that was a long time ago. This year she appeared again. This time it was the accusations of plastic surgery. However, she took this in a positive light, addressing the rumors through her Instagram. She admitted to having had injections on her lips, jaw, and forehead, but not any cosmetic surgeries. She thanked everyone for the compliments and said that she has always been true to her fans and would never lie to them. Osborne has been through a lot and her new life is nothing but an example of a changed life. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future.
Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.